Hello everyone, welcome to Tecto.com. In this lecture, we will go through a few important formulas and results. So these results and formulas will not be asked somehow directly, but these are very important because you can use these results to solve bigger problems and it will make it easier to solve. Okay, so this is whole lot of formulas. This is basically the expansion of the uh, various terms like uh, 1 plus x to the power n which is 1 minus nx. So you have to make a sequence, right? Y you remember it but don't just mug up. Uh, just remember the sequence, how the, for how the formulas are there. For example, if I take a formula like let's say a to the power x. Okay, this one. So if you see this a to the power x, so there is a sequence like first one is 1 so first you remember which term starts with 1 which expansion okay so it starts with 1 then x log a this is enough to remember now everything is like first is x log a next is x square power is here 1 here in the next term power is increasing right x square 2 factorial okay and then this whole term to the power 2 okay whole term square so basically in this manner you can remember this for these formulas easily right so make remember the sequence not exactly mug up my mug up the formulas okay so these are the whole lot of things uh, i don't want to go through this because ultimately you have to remember it there is uh, nothing to understand so i'll update in uh, the short notes section so please uh, try to remember these formulas. You can download it from attachment also and uh, you can get a print and print, uh, post it on your wall. So let's go to the important result very quickly. So most of these results you already know but for the sake of completion I'll revise. So the first one is limit limit x tends to 0 sine x upon x so what will be the value in this case so again if you see this is 0 by 0 form uh, we will discuss indeter indeterminate forms uh, in detail in next lecture but right now if you understand if you put the put the value of x here it will come out to be 0 and this one is 0 so 0 by 0 but the value of this is equal to 1 so how to find out, find out this value what you can do is you can expand the sin x okay using the various formula which I have uh, just shown you and then you can divide by x by doing this you will get the value of this equal to 1 when limit tends to 0 now the next result is limit x tends to 0 cos x which is equal to again 1 okay all these you can verify by expanding using the important formulas which we have discussed and you will get these values so now the another one is very similar to uh, sin x upon x okay so it is if limit x tends to 0 tan x upon x okay so this will be again equal to 1 similar to sin x right now we have another one which is limit x tends to 0 1 plus x to the power 1 by x okay so this is limit x tends to 0 1 plus 1 plus x to the power 1 by x which is equal to e okay now another one is limit x tends to 0 1 plus n x to the power 1 by x is equal to e to the power n so if here it was it was simply x it is n times of x then this n will come into the power of e okay now next result is let's say limit uh, x tends to infinity 1 plus 1 by x to the power x this is again equal to e okay now another one is limit 
x tends to infinity 1 plus again let's take n to the power x upon x again it will come out to be e to the power n here n times so if you see these these four formulas which this these four which I have discussed just now are actually dependent so these are basically the in the form of limit limit x tends to 0 so basically whatever is the limit here what is here is 1 plus this tends this term will tends to 0 and here the power will tends to infinity what I want to say here see let's take an example the first one okay so the first one is if you see the first one this one is limit x tends to 0 so here this is this is this value is going to 0 and this power value is going to be infinity so 1 plus 0 to the power infinity something like this so this will come out to be e right similarly if you see this one this one here also what is being done here limit was tends to 0 here it is infinity then it is 1 upon infinity which is 0 so again this is going to be 0 and this is going to be infinity so the result to be is equal to e so like this you can relate the result so it, you need not to remember all the things exactly fine so these results will be helpful when we will solve the problem so next we will solve various problems thanks for watching